Hello friends, today we will talk about pollination in the crop of strawberry, particularly when it is grown under the controlled environment agriculture system in a polyhouse or in a greenhouse. Strawberry is a self-pollinating, wind-pollinated crop and the flower of the strawberry is a composite flower consisting of very large number of small florets. Unless and until all the florets in a flower are pollinated, you will not get a symmetrically shaped strawberry fruit. And unsymmetrical shaped strawberry fruit don't fetch a good market as you know they are not liked by the people. Now, in addition to the wind pollination in nature, the bees also facilitate pollination for the strawberry plant. We here in, on our farm have done an experiment by using the normal bees which are available in our country to facilitate the pollination. We have kept a beehive which is having about 6,000 to 10,000 bees in it and that beehive is sufficient for uh, 750 square meter of the area. Now if you look at this video, the bees are quite comfortable here because initially we tried and we could not succeed. The reason being that the bees were all coming from outside. Here then we spoke to the experts in beekeeping and, and they told us that if you bring a beehive where the bees are about to hatch and that is kept there, they will be more comfortable. So we did the same thing, brought a beehive where the bees hatched within the polyhouse and so all the new bees which came out of the hive, they are quite comfortable and you can see they are very active. They are not very slow. This is winter months, the temperature inside the polyhouse is quite comfortable. The bees move continuously from one flower to the other in the process pollinating the flowers completely and giving us symmetrical fruits. When grown in open, the strawberry flowers are also pollinated by strong winds since it's a wind pollinated crop also. But in the polyhouse or in the greenhouse, the wind cannot blow at appropriate speed where the uh, pollens can be shed or the flowers can be shaken and the pollination occurs. So how to do it? So what we have devised is that we are using high speed fans. High speed fans are carried in hand and they are moved over the rows of the strawberry plants, shaking very heavily the flowers as well as the plants. But it is to be assured that the fan is kept at the appropriate distance not to cause any damage to the plant to the flower or to the young fruits and with this shaking the pollen are shed and the flowers are feeling as if the natural wind is blowing and the flowers get pollinated to give us again very symmetrical fruits. One thing is to be assured when this wind is to be blown is particularly critical. You know you cannot blow the wind at all the time. You will have to be particular about it that the wind is blown over the plants between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. The reason being that if you do it early, the pollen are wet and they will not be dispersed properly or they will not be blown up properly uh, into the uh, surrounding area of the pistils or into the surrounding areas of the female flowers, parts of the flower. So you will have to ensure that the wind is blown at a particular time every day, maybe alternative day or maybe twice a day even, it still it is quite okay. So once the pollination is assured, then you can see one thing that the fruits of strawberry are very, very symmetrical because the entire florets within the flower, they get pollinated. So uh, pollination assurance in strawberry is one of the most important thing to be done while growing strawberry under controlled environment agriculture. This kind of information we will keep on disseminating by putting videos on different aspects of uh, different crops. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.